what's going on guys today i'm gonna be counting down my picks for the top 10 worst super movies i've personally seen now keep in mind that this list is completely my opinion and you know if you disagree with any of them totally fine by me fully understandable so we're gonna start with some dishonorable mentions and those are the mini experiment 2 spider-man 3 superman 3 Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, X-Men Origins Wolverine, X-Men The Last Stand, Suicide Squad 2016, and Batman vs. Superman. All horrendous pile of ass. All terrible, terrible, dog vomit worthy movies. I don't know if that made sense, but all terrible, terrible movies. Just I don't quite made the list. But what did make the list is my number 10. Now my number 10 is Batman Forever. Now I think mostly everybody can agree with me that you know, Joe Schumacher's our Batman film was worse by miles. I'm more than miles, but it's on the list, but it's way higher. I still think this one I still this one sucks though. Jim Carrey was a terrible choice for Riddler. I know he was really big in the nineties, but him as Riddler just did not work. Tom Lee Jones as Two Face was god off, very cartoon like. In my opinion, their roles should have been swapped. But that's just me. Val Kilmer was okay as Bruce Wayne, but as Batman uh, it just didn't work. He was better than George Bobblehead Clooney, but does that really say anything? Um, no. The costume just looked terrible. The bat and nipples. Batmobile looked terrible. Gotham City looked terrible. Crystal Donald's Robin was just annoying in this movie. Was he as annoying as he was in the other movie? No, but definitely enough to at least mention. Yeah, this is far from as bad as the other ones in this list, but I still like serving in that number 10 spot. Now, number 9 is... Justice League theatrical cut from 2017. Now, I haven't seen the Snyder cut. I've heard it's supposedly actually pretty good. But this one was absolute garbage. No question about that. This was a mess. This was a train wreck from start to finish. The movie has had so many plots. It's made it incredibly confusing, hard to follow. Steppenwolf as a villain was just atrocious, laughable in this movie. By far one of the worst films I've seen in any movie, superhero or not. Just garbage of garbage just and even that like no one on the team really seemed to no one was really developed and you know like the final like the whole team didn't really seem to fit together it's just so weird they tried to cram so much in with in such a little amount of time it just didn't work and just uh yeah it, it was just a very rushed movie and just yeah it was kind of a disaster that's Number nine. Now, number eight is Hulk from 2003. My God, what a loser. I heard of Fan Four Stick, which is on the list, but it's way higher. I don't think I was ever as close to fall asleep about a superhero movie. The CGI was just ugly, cringeworthy at best. The acting, the action scenes were no better. Had there been more, had there been more scenes of the Hulk smashing as pulling much a pointless dialogue. That film would have actually been stupid fun, but instead, it's just plain stupid. And just, yeah, I haven't seen this one in a really long time, and but, yeah, I really have no intention to watch it again, as I wasn't really sleeping watching this. It was, it's boring. Number seven is Green Lantern. I, like a lot of people, was really excited for this movie when it came out in 2011. To say it was a major, major letdown, major slap in the face, that's... That's beyond comprehension for this movie. That's an understatement. CGI costume, the CGI mask just was hideous. The action scenes and the characters and the script in this movie were a complete joke. It felt, the movie felt very quick, which I suppose is a good thing because of how terrible it was. But anyway, I felt very cheaply done. The whole thing was done in CGI. Reminds me of another movie that's on this list, but it's that one other film. Speaking of, is obviously way higher. I hope DC can redeem the character in the DCU, because, you know, Green Lantern is one of my favorite characters in the DC Universe, and whoever directed this movie just really, really fucked that up, and yeah, it was terrible. It was definitely, like, you know, I was really excited about this movie, and yeah, very disappointing. Number six is Fantastic Four from 2005. Well, maybe a masterpiece compared to the 2015 one, that says nothing. Fantastic Four, if you've read the comics, is supposed to be camping, kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy. This movie takes the camp ants way too far. The entire cast in this movie is just terrible, and the Thing's costume 
looks like a cheap Halloween costume. The effects don't even work for the time, and the action scenes were just very boring in this movie. Doctor Doom in this movie, there wasn't enough of him, but even that, he barely did anything. It was, like, he's a smart and amazing villain in the comics, and the movies just never seem to do him right. And just, yeah. Terrible, terrible movie. Brad Store Surfer was a drop better. It's still bad, but not quite as bad as this, but, you know, we're just getting started as far as the really bad ones are concerned. Number five. Okay, we're going down, downhill here. Superman for the quest for peace. Ugh, this is just a complete mess from start to finish. The fact that this movie came out in 1987 doesn't excuse it from anything. The effects look like absolute trash even for its time. Not to mention, they use the same exact shot of Superman flying at least, probably way more than five times in the whole movie. That is just a special kind of give me that paycheck. That's a special kind of just lazy right there. Lex Luthor and Nuclear Man were just, just embarrassing in this movie. Nothing worked. The fight scenes were lazy beyond belief. And how does Nuclear Man beat Superman, you may ask? By scratching his neck. Yeah. Superman 3 was terrible. Superman Returns was boring. This was just plain shit. Yeah. Terrible, terrible movie. Number four is Batman and Robin. Now, I know a lot of people are like, that should be number one. You're right. It's fucking terrible. Fucking awful. But this does have enough hilariously bad moments to save it for me. I would say, I would say it falls in the category of memorably bad. That does not by any means mean it's good. But, you know, at least has that going for it, if you want to call it that. The costumes look ridiculous. The bad nipples and the bad ass Arnold Schwarzenegger was... Just a god awful choice for Mr. Freeze. Like, he's like, he can be a really funny guy and really fun to watch, but as Mr. Freeze, I mean, it really is Arnold being himself, but that, you know, him in the world as Mr. Freeze just. It just doesn't work. Freeze World, ice to see you. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. Why would you ever get Arnold Schwarzenegger to play in Mr. Freeze? <laughs> Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy was even worse if you can imagine. It's like every scene with her, I felt like I was watching like some cheap elementary school play. Like it's so bad, a teenager could have done better. That inflatable action thing, the worst villain in the whole movie is Bane. I'm not even counting that as, you know, I think he was inflatable. So it was just like, he wasn't counted as like an actor, but... Yeah, the inflatable actor that makes grunt noises they call Bane, that is not Bane. Like, Bane is like a badass villain that breaks Batman's neck and they made him like a balloon thing in this movie. Like, it's so stupid. Bane! Dumb Sasquatch. That's not Bane. That is not Bane. Director Joel Schumacher actually admitted the movie was a complete shit show as made of still toys, but even if that was the case... What kid won a Batman toy with rubber nipples and a bat credit card? Not me. And the reason why this movie isn't, you know, higher on the list is because everyone in this movie like they're having a good time except George Clooney. Doesn't mean it's good, but everyone like they're having a good time. And it's like, you know, this is a movie that if I was like extremely drunk, I'd probably be able to enjoy it, but not under any other circumstances. But it is hilarious at times, I would say. Now, number three. Is Halle Berry's Catwoman. Yes, this actually beat out Batman and Robin. This is just a lousy piece of shit from start to finish. There's no questions about that. Special effects are a complete agony, and the acting just hurt to watch. The whole damn thing is done in CGI. And the best part is right before filming Catwoman, Halle Berry had actually won an Oscar. I forget what movie it was for, but she won an Oscar. But during the filming, she seemed to just not care at all. She brings even less energy to the role. Than an actual cat would. I'm not even and like like an actual cat could give her performance than her. There's no attempt decent storytelling. It's just a bad, bad movie. One of the worst movies of all time, and just like CGI cats are awful. The whole universe is in CGI. It is just a stupid, stupid movie. And just yeah. It's awful. Like this isn't hilariously bad. This is just lousy and painful to watch. Number two is Captain America from 1990. I'm nowhere to begin with this pile of dog vomit. Let's just say this was so bad. I was able to find it for free on YouTube with 6.9 million views since 2015. 
Not even Disney has bothered to take it down. Pretty amazing if you ask me. The first 20 minutes are actually kind of okay, but then it goes way down to from there quickly. This feels like a bunch of five-year-olds just sat in a room and wrote the script of crayons. It's so, so stupid. Rocket goes from White House to North Pole. Kid takes picture, becomes president 20 years later. Cat used car painting a car stick twice, and ends movie by looking at the camera. Oh, this isn't just awful. The rubber costume looks awful. The set's very cheap. They don't even for the time. I mean, I know, I don't think they have much budget to start with, but they had to have had more than like 10 bucks. It looks like they used like 10 bucks tops to make this movie. Like, it looks so bad. Like, if they actually had like a bunch of like four or five year olds working on the sets and the script for this, I would not be surprised. It's a, it's a joke of a movie. So now before we get to number one, I got one that was so bad it didn't even make the list. And that is Fantastic Four from 1994. Now, this, unlike everything actually on the list, was never intended to be released. However, for some reason, the Intertwilight to the director or the cast, the film in the 90s ended up finding its way to the public. Dual legal copies that were released. Then someone, I don't know who it was, posted on YouTube in 2017 and it's not been taken down since. When lockdown and COVID happened in 2020, I actually got my tweet to watch it. And holy shit, is it awful? It's laughable from start to finish. Special effects were just god awful. The Mr. Fantastic stretchy power looked like they used like a broomstick. Like they took a broomstick, put a glove on it, and stretched out towards the camera. Like, like it looks so bad. The costumes were either made by like a kindergartner. No one gave good performance to movie. Amateur, juvenile, on every level, just awful. But. It didn't actually make the list because, you know, it's worse than everything on the list, I think, except for number one. But I felt like, you know, the fact that it wasn't ever intended to be released, it was only based on doing it the film rights. I felt like I can cut into a little bit of slack, but that does not mean it's good. Now, number one, Fantastic Four 2015. Now, if you're into bad movies that can put you asleep like that, I recommend this one for you. This piece of shit will always be known as Fant Force Stick to me. The acting special effects were just beyond embarrassing, and this had potential to be good. It has good actors. None of them none of them did a good job, though, because they were just all directed very poorly. And you would not know this came out in 2015 watching it. Special effects look like something that came out like 100 years prior. Like, it looks so bad. This movie put me to sleep just because the bedtime story would have hit a young age. I heard Josh Strang was even drunk on set, which more was I able to see. I can completely believe that. Like, this actually was made like a drunk person. Like, it looks, it is so bad. Like, you know, I thought Doctor Doom could have possibly been worse than one of the Titans movies. Yeah, unfortunately, I was wrong. He was not intimidating all his movies. were very confusing. This movie never even shows team being heroes. It's like, let's just get powers and stuff. Nope, in reason. And just none of them seemed to fit together. It was very weird. And yeah, this is not hilariously bad. This is not guilty pleasure. Is not that. This is the definition of shit. This is undeniably bad. Like, I would rather watch five copies of Catwoman than sit through this pile of dog vomit ever again. Like, seriously, if you can if you can get your hands on a copy of this and give it a watch, it is god awful. If you're into watching bad movies, you know, that can put you asleep, then I do recommend this one for you, but not to anybody else. So, uh, yeah. Like, if I was even drunk, I probably would not be able to enjoy this movie. It's that bad. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Peace out.